Five million hits. I just want to say thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for tuning in. This video, I want to talk about uh, an experience that happened to me. It's not about uh, UFOs, uh, you know, paranormal phenomenon, anything like that. It's something that you can see and look at every day and constantly reobserve over and over again. Unlike these. Uh, other stories I usually like to talk about. It was an experience that happened to me back in 2001. I was in the backyard looking up at the stars and I saw this huge object flying across and the first thing that came to my mind is that's an asteroid. And that thing was so huge it was flying across the sky burning on fire I couldn't believe it. I screamed inside the house. Someone came out. We watched that thing fly until it disappeared behind, you know, like the horizon, the, over the rooftops. You could just see the tail of it going, disappearing. It's pretty crazy. And so I figured for sure I was going to see this on the news, you know. For sure I was going to see this on the news. Watch the news the next day, nothing. Next day after that, nothing. And then eventually I just gave up. I couldn't believe what I saw. But I always thought about it. I always thought about it. Then later on I find out a few weeks later that they discovered this thing. And uh, it turns out that NASA didn't even see it. It was huge. It was like, it had to be at least one to two kilometers long, you know, at least a kilometer wide, you know, maybe half a kilometer tall or even taller to a kilometer. This thing was massive. I couldn't believe how many people didn't report it. And you know, 2001, the internet really isn't as what it is today. Like, you remember how phones were, you know, they first came out. I mean, now they're like, you know, computers, walking computers. 2001, they weren't so much walking computers, so maybe that's why I wasn't everywhere. Also, a lot of things happened in 2001. I was, but I was really surprised the size of this thing. It wasn't reported. No one talked about it. So this is the first part of my video, is uh, talking about this asteroid that I saw. And there was no reports on it. NASA didn't discover it, or someone didn't discover it until three weeks, four weeks after it passed our orbit. But I remember seeing it with the naked, naked eye. eye. And no one reported it. It looks sort of like this, this picture here. Going across the sky. I saw it with the naked eye. It was massive. I just couldn't believe how big this was, and people didn't talk about it. So, you know, I forgot about it. Life goes on. And just keep that story in mind. That's one of the parts. Now I'm talking about meteorites. Because on February the 9th at 2013 at 1.30 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, I seen this cluster of meteors fly across the sky. I couldn't believe it. It was awesome, huge cluster. And I go and I run, I run inside the house. And I figure for sure this is going to be on like TV. That's sort of what it looked like. It was like a cluster like that. For sure I thought it was going to be on the TV screen. You know, day, day or so, maybe a couple hours. Because, you know, this one was huge. It looked like this. So I figured for sure it was going to be on the TV somewhere. But no, all that came up was this, the media procession of 1913. I couldn't believe it. No one was reporting this story. I mean, I found little blogs where people were saying that there were reports of things flying in the sky, but 
I mean, what I saw was, it was amazing. It was a cluster of meteors. And I found it interesting that this was the only thing that came up on it. 2013, February 9th, at 1.30 a.m. in the morning, nothing was reported. Now, don't forget that our times have changed, so. I mean, this could be 4.30 in the morning back in 1913. Who knows what time exactly it was, but I know that it was 1.30 a.m. and it was, it was pretty nice. I stood there, and the thing that bothered me, which really caught my mind, was the amount of reports there was and how everyone that reported this story reported multiple clusters. Like this picture here. There was someone that was a witness. And I said, look the same. You know, Orion's belt up in the sky. Beautiful night for the stars. And then whoo, you see these clusters, balls going across the sky. Like that, exactly. And I, I was like, just standing there hoping to see more. It was just one group of clusters. So I look at this story, and I don't doubt it one bit. And I think of all those other clusters that were there. Where were they? How come I didn't see those follow? Because I stayed outside for a while to see more. How come they didn't come out? Where were they? Look at this description of that night. 1913, February 9th, 100 years to the exact date. And all I saw was one cluster. So I can't help but wonder, how come they had such a crazy experience a hundred years ago, and all I saw was one cluster? I started wondering, where would those other clusters go? What happened to them all? Because, you know, I was looking for the news. Then later on, a couple days later, you hear, oh, this asteroid, you're going to see it fly across the sky. But you'd only be able to see it with a telescope or something. And then this happens. I saw how I couldn't help but think of that meteor procession and those other clusters that were descripted a hundred years ago. Where did they go? Well, I can't I can't help but think about that day, what happened after. Was that one of those meteors from that night a hundred years ago? I mean, where did those other meteors go on the meteor procession of 1913? And I saw the exact same thing a hundred years later, the same night, except there wasn't as many meteors that night on February the 9th, 2013 at 1.30 a.m. in the morning. There wasn't that many meteors as there was a hundred years ago, so... What happened a few days later on February the 15th in the morning time? I'm wondering if that had to be related to that media procession. I mean, maybe these things have a pattern or something we can pay attention to or something. I mean, we don't have any sort of system to be watching this, obviously. This, this is another example of how it, it, it slipped through the cracks, just like that media. I see the media, they hit first and then talk about it in the news, you know? Another time I seen another media and they hit the news I remember a long time ago. It's another story. But I, and I seen the asteroid, I'm talking about the asteroid I saw. That thing flies across the sky. Not even in the news. Don't even hit headline news. This thing would have wiped out a whole city. This little thing here on Russia. I mean, it was pretty, uh, it's pretty dangerous situation if you think about it. I mean, imagine if it was bigger, like a kilometer, two kilometers. I think of that asteroid from 2001. I mean, if that meteor procession could come back, if this is one of those meteors from that night, if that thing could swing back around 100 years later, I'm wondering about that asteroid. It's crazy. I always think about it. The fact that something so massive and so huge can slip through our radar, you know. 
I'm not just talking about NASA. I'm talking about the whole of a planet. I'm talking about everybody on this planet. I mean, that asteroid in 2001, it, it's traumatizing how big it was. And, you know, they, like on February the 15th, 2013 they talk about how you would have been able to see this asteroid that was gonna fly so close to earth that you can look with a telescope and you'd see it. Instead we have this object hit the planet. I mean I just think how about that? 2001 asteroid. If our planet was a little to the left what would have happened? And no one even would have had a clue or a warning or nothing. The, the whole purpose of uh, my videos, I'm just trying to raise awareness, make people talk about things. I mean, we should have been able to have the whole world watch that media procession on February the 9th, 2013. It was like fireworks going across the sky. It was crazy. I loved it. It filled me up with so much excitement. I wanted to talk about it with everybody. But no one was there to talk to about it. No one saw it. Just like... Reminded me of that time, 2001, that asteroid, when that happened. Reminded me about everything. Thinking, you know, could it happen? Could it happen? Sure it could. It's a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. We don't have anything in place for a warning. That's the way it seems for me anyways. You know, once it hits the news, it's like old news now. As yesterday. You have that moment to be on point. And that's it. The news has already happened. When are we going to have some sort of system in place to protect us all as a whole? We all come together and realize we're one. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish.